Welcome to Melbourne Private Apartments, where the city meets the harbour in a luxurious waterfront setting. My name is Lana Murphy, and today I'm joined by one of the rising stars of the tennis world, Brandon Nakashima. He's already cracked the world top 50, and he's climbing the ranks quickly. And as he sets on his Australian Open campaign, he's staying at Melbourne Private Apartments. Welcome, Brandon. Thank you for having me. Thanks so much for joining us. We are staying in a beautiful location right here looking across the water. As you said on this campaign, how does it feel to be staying here in this beautiful location? Yeah, it's beautiful here. Um, you know, right when I arrived, uh, you know, I saw the waterfront and, you know, all the big buildings here and everything. And, you know, kind of just felt really at home here, you know. And, um, you know, once I arrived in the apartment, saw how beautiful it was, saw how the balcony and like the views and everything, um, you know, it was just, it was just a great setting to, to be in for the Australian Open. And in terms of proximity to things, you've been in Melbourne for a couple of days now. How are you finding the location here? How are you getting to the tennis centre? Is it pretty easy to do? Yeah, it's very easy, you know. Um, the tournament organises transportation for, for all the players, so they're able to come here with a car, pick us up, and, um, you know, it's a pretty short, easy drive to, uh, to the courts, so, so that's always really nice as tennis players, you know, having the, the hotel and the, the courts uh, really close by to each other. And um, so it's a beautiful setting here. Um, the city is beautiful and, you know, it's just a great location uh, to be in for a tournament. Have you been able to use the amenities yet, you know, using the pool or any of the gym facilities? Uh, a little bit so far. I mean, I, I went to the gym a few times here. Um, you know, it's obviously really nice, su super easy access and uh, haven't been in the pool yet, but, uh, but I'm sure in the next few days I'll, I'll go down and, and take a look. And what's the experience like staying in an, an apartment complex like this compared to, I guess, your standard hotel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's always, um, you know, really important for tennis players to feel comfortable uh, during these tennis tournaments and, um, you know, pretty much the whole year. We're traveling all over the world, staying in you know normal hotels, and, and to be able to, to have an apartment like this for, for one of the biggest tournaments of the year is, is super nice and, and you know special too as well. So uh, so it's, I'm super happy about it. I'm super thankful for for all the staff and, and everyone to uh, to invite me here. Do you get to have your team here as well? Your support team and your agent and all of the above. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, my coaches are staying here as well. Um, you know, I got my dad here too. So, uh, so it's really nice to have all of the team staying here too and, and um, to have all of them close by and to be able to walk around the city a little bit when we have some free time is, is always nice to, to get away from the course a little bit. And you mentioned earlier you haven't really been able to take too much of the city in just yet but so far in the few days that you have been here, what do you think your favourite part about Melbourne is? You know, I think, I, I think it's just the diversity here. You know, you see all different types of people from, from all over the world. You see a bunch of different restaurants, um, all different types of food as well. So it's really a nice city to, to have a tournament like this and, um, you know, be able to, to get away from the courts too when you have some free time. It's always nice to, to walk around the city and, and see some cool sights. And on to the reason you are here, the Australian Open. How excited are you for the upcoming couple of weeks and how do you think you'll go? Yeah, I'm very excited. You know, it's, it's the beginning of the year, start of the new season for, for all us tennis players. And it's a super exciting time, I think. And, um, you know, I'm just going to go out there this week, you know, give my best effort and, and you know, hopefully I'll be able to, to do well this week. You are the youngest player in the top 50 at the moment, aren't you, in terms mm -hmm. of the tennis world? Mm -hmm. The youngest top 50 tennis player. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Does that add any extra pressure to your game? Um, no, not really for me, you know, um, you know, there's so many other, you know, young top up and coming players as well. And, and, you know, you also have the veterans too, the older guys that have been at the top of the game for a while. So I think it's a good mixture of us in the top 50, you know, uh, all competing against each other, you know, kind of raising the level every single time we play. So I'm always excited to, you know, have new challenges and, and new opportunities out there. Is there a player in your mind that you're like, that is the guy I have to beat? No one really in particular. I mean, all these tournaments are super tough, you know, no matter the, the level of the tournament. Um, you know, all these players from all over the world, they, they have so much talent and, you know, so much different game styles as well. So I think just having that, you know, versatile game to be able to compete with everyone, I think is uh, super important for, for us players. You're obviously one of the young guns, but is there anyone else that you've been looking at going, oh, I better watch out for them too. They're probably coming through the ranks as well. 
Uh, yeah, like I said, there's there's many other top young players coming up. Um, you know, you see in the top ten, you know, you have Carlos Alcaraz, Yannick Sinner, Holger Rune that that are um, you know making a name for themselves. You know, challenging all these top guys, winning all these big tournaments. So so it's nice to have you know a group of young guys to you know have around and also um, you know kind of compete against each other to to keep raising the level. How, how do you see and view the Australian Open in terms of setting up your year? Because it's obviously at the beginning of the year, is it quite important in terms of getting momentum? Yeah, it's very important, you know, you always kind of want to start the year off really strong. Um, you know, everyone here is excited to start the new year and, um, you know, Melbourne is such a beautiful city as well, so I think everyone here enjoys the conditions, enjoys being here, and um, you know, it's just a great start to, uh, to the new year. You have made some changes in the last year or so to your coaching camp, so how do you think that's benefiting your game moving forward? Yeah, I think, it, I think we've been working out well together so far. Um, you know, kind of mid last year, added some new people to the team, some new coaches, uh, fitness trainers, physios as well. So I think we have a group, group of guys, you know, that are, that are helping me. And, uh, and I'm super thankful and grateful for all their support in my tennis as well, you know. We, they all work so hard to, to try to put me at my best and, um, you know, every day we're just trying to keep improving and, and you know, keep, uh, keep looking forward to the future. Beautiful. Well, we're all very excited for your future. Good luck. Thank you very much.